Some were destroyed in battle. Others weren't completed. Some are laid up and can only dream about battles. But now they're getting a new lease of life. We recreate ships accurately according to their historical blueprints and send them into battle. World of Warships, Dry Dock. Vanguard was the last British battleship. Powerful, fast moving, and heavily armored, Vanguard can rightfully be considered as the pinnacle in the development of British heavy artillery ships. The idea of designing a new battleship was born in the British Admiralty in 1939, when the British Navy suffered a lack of new battleships in the face of the imminent war. Their construction was halted due to delays in developing 406mm guns for the Lion-class battleships. Then the British Admirals decided to use 381mm guns that were in storage with ready-made turrets to quickly and cheaply build a new ship that would reinforce the British fleet in the Far East and become a formidable opponent for Japanese heavy cruisers. Churchill liked the idea of getting a battleship within the short time frame and he gave the order to speed up work on the project. Battleship Vanguard was laid down on October 2, 1941, at a shipyard owned by John Brown and Company, which had previously constructed ocean-going liners RMS Lusitania and RMS Queen Elizabeth, Battleship Hood, and many other well-known ships. The attack on Pearl Harbor and destruction of British battleships Prince of Wales and Repulse during a Japanese airstrike the day after made the construction of Vanguard a top priority task for the English shipbuilders. Attempts were made to improve the battleship's anti-torpedo defenses and significantly reinforce her AA artillery. However, the ship's construction fell behind schedule due to a lack of qualified staff. Vanguard was launched in November 1944, and the ceremony was conducted by Elizabeth, who was a princess at that time. The British didn't manage to finish work on the ship prior to the end of World War II, and she entered service only in August 1946. Battleship Vanguard made her first long cruise to South Africa as a royal yacht. King George VI set out on this journey together with his entire family, which is why, three months prior, between September and December 1946, the ship had undergone a slight refit. The subsequent service of the battleship was full of diplomatic visits, official ceremonies and training raids. In the summer of 1953, Vanguard was the flagship of a grandiose international naval parade, dedicated to the coronation of her godmother, Elizabeth II. Battleship Vanguard was officially retired from the Navy and scrapped for metal in 1960. Vanguard is a Tier 8 premium battleship in World of Warships. Her advantages include a large HP pool, main guns that reload fairly quickly, powerful AA defenses and decent maneuverability.